Uh, good morning. So um, a couple days ago when you spoke to the team, you, uh, you said that, you know, there is no limit to how far this team could go. Uh, there is no ceiling. Can you expand upon that a little bit, please? Um, I, I just don't want, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of people talking and saying what we can do and what we can't do. Um, I never have that approach. Um, even when I, when I first got the job, they, you know, they, they said, what do you think we can do? And I think if we do that, then we limit ourselves on what we can do. Uh, nobody expected us to be uh, one shot away from the semifinals, um, uh, being a championship level team. And um, I, I've, you know, I, that's just, I, I don't see, I don't think you put limits on yourself in life. Um, you know, I think if you do that, you, you have a bunch of underachievers. And uh, just really quick, in this unique situation, you know, you guys are a part of history right now going into this 15th year season with the WNBA. Can I ask, you know, when you have those moments of not saying you do, but if you ever have those moments of like self-doubt, who do you reach out to and talk to? Because I know, you know, the teammates and they all come to you for advice, but who do you go to? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah. So, um, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I, I, I talk to my coaches. Uh, I talk to my wife. Uh, I don't know if it's self doubt. Um, I don't know what a good word is it. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's self doubt, but I, I know I have good people in my ear that I talk to. I have friends that, uh, work when, if we're talking about basketball related things, I have, uh, friends that are in the WNBA, friends in the NBA. Um, you know, I, I talked to my wife, who's a, you know, a, a general manager in, in Europe. She, she has a, a great basketball mind. Uh, my assistant coaches, um, they're really great. Um, I just try to keep as real as possible. And I try to keep the team on edge as much as possible. Uh, because, you know, it's a, it's a, a thin line, uh, between success and failure. And um, we have to always push the envelope. So um, I guess those are the people that I talk to the most. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Madeline Kenny with the Sun-Times. Hey, James. Um, a quick follow-up from yesterday, then I have two other questions. But uh, you mentioned that Sydney Colson might take a test. Um, do you have any update on whether or not she has taken a test yet? Well, I just got off, uh, uh, I guess, a Zoom call with her just, you know, two minutes ago, three minutes ago, and um, she's feeling a lot better. Uh, so she has a, a meeting with a doctor today to see if she can get a test, the, the earliest she can get a test, because so far today she hasn't had any symptoms so far today. So uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a promising, uh, you know, uh, thing so far, and, you know, hopefully – uh, the doctor agrees that maybe she can get a test uh, as soon as possible, but uh, I won't know anything until after she's had her uh, scheduled appointment with the doctor. Cool. And then we've talked in the past, uh, like a lot last season, actually, about Gabby Williams and how she's kind of struggled with um, confidence, maybe, or maybe has had some hesitation in her game. And you've really worked with her from those drills last season. And then she also worked on her confidence when she was in France. Um, just where, where is she at from like a mental standpoint heading into year three? And how are you going to rely on her this season? I think she's good. Uh, she's really taken, you know, a uh, leadership role within herself as far as taking responsibility and owning up to the mistakes and, and just moving uh, forward. Uh, I, I think with the uh, smaller roster without, you know, Jontel or Sydney there, it, it leaves, it gives you a little bit more confidence uh, that you can make mistakes and not have to look over your shoulder. Um, now what we've, you know, what we've tried to do is, is coach her in a way that, you know, empowers her to, to make more decisions, to take responsibility on the floor. 
And so she's she's done that. And uh, we like the process, the progress that she's made. So uh, we're going to keep on, you know, pushing her toward that in that in that direction where she's not looking over her shoulder and she's just going and a mistake is what it is, just a mistake. And she doesn't have to, you know, hear me. I know my voice can be a little bit annoying at times. So I, I try to just tone it down when it comes to her so she can get used to playing without me being in her ear. And then we're talking to Ruthie later, but I was just curious about what you've seen in her growth over the last week or, or few weeks of working with her. I think she's starting to understand the schemes a, a little bit more uh, and, it's, and she's moving naturally. So uh, I think the first uh, few days uh, you can see her her thinking you can actually see her thinking and kind of hesitating and get in the spots because she was thinking a little bit too much now i think uh since she's understood understood the schemes a little bit more uh she's thinking less and she's actually moving to those uh spots with game speed you know with WNBA speed so she's beating players for offensive rebounds uh she's getting behind players and pick and rolls so she's doing the things more that we saw on the college level uh and she's doing it at a high level because she's doing it against our post players so uh we've liked the progress that she's made but we understand that she's going to be a rookie and she's going to uh, have to play through those mistakes thank you thanks Jake Meister. Hi, Coach. You talked yesterday about um, the team looking a little fatigued during practice. How do they respond today, just, you know, in general, in terms of the way their fitness was looking? Oh, they, they were still tired. <laughs> they were still tired. But it. Uh, but I think uh, where, where, where we are right now with 10 days out or, or whatever, uh, 10 days out or so, uh, you you want to see how they push through that fatigue and how they how they play and so they were able to play at a high level today. Uh, they were able to play, um, you know, more focused on not making the same mistakes that they made yesterday. So they still look tired. They still, you know, had some wear and tear on their legs, but uh, that's going to happen with this unique season that we're having. So you just want to see how they can respond and uh, you know we we were okay with the response today, but we still have a, a ways to go. And how has the team's pace looked over the last few days with that fatigue in mind? Pace is fine. Uh, the pace is fine. We, we're a team that we're going to always play with pace. Uh, we have one of the best pace guards in the league, if not the best. Uh, so our, our pace is always going to be at a, at a at a good level. So that's really not my uh, main thing. It's something that comes a little bit naturally to us. Uh, but my main thing is, that, uh, you know, us not making mistakes while we're playing at that pace. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, Maddie, we'll head back to you. Oh, shoot. I forgot to lower my hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, if anyone else has any questions for James, otherwise we'll bring in Allie Quigley. Thank you, James. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, thank you, guys.